Hi, so for today's tutorial, this is going to be a continuation from my previous video on how to set up an ABR barcode for industrial ethernet. Um, so I showed you how to do that in barcode manager software and now I'm going to show you how to set up the Red Lion uh, side of it so that it can communicate and be integrated together. So. Uh, all right, so we know that ABR barcode is going to be a master. Um, so what I have to do is set up my network and set up my ABR here in my communications as a Modbus TCP IP slave. This is gonna be the easiest way to go about this. So I've already set up my network. My HMI has an IP address and I'm downloading over ethernet. So that is already set up. My protocol here that I picked is Modbus TCP IP slate. And notice the TCP port uh, in my previous video, it was 502, so that doesn't have to change. All of this is fine. I don't, I don't need to do anything here other than that. So now I've created, now it will automatically populate um, an icon here. I labeled it, I renamed it ABR uh, Naval Device. You'll notice here I have an option to do an add gateway block. So this is what I'm going to have to do is to add a gateway block. And uh, in this case, I've added the first one here. Um, I've told it a block size of one uh, because really I'm only reading one register. Uh, you'll notice this is in a green uh, icon. And my my direction is from my HMI to my to my device, which is the ABR. So in this case, I am going to be going in that direction, writing to my ABR. So um, my addressing here is going to be in the 1000s because that's that's going to be my trigger. And I'm really only using up one bid for that. Uh, so uh, I'm just writing one, one, uh, one register here. And that's, again, I started at address zero in Barcode Manager, and here is going to be address 1001. So as soon as I set this up as my Geo7 to my device, I'm good to go here. Notice that once I set up my block, I've got this address here listed. And if I, um, I can delete that, this is what it'll look like. If I click on this, I'll get this menu here on my right hand side and I've got data tags that I've already I've already created one and so in this case I created my trigger. This is a basic numeric tag and it's not tied to anything, it's just an internal tag but now I'm going to drag this over and drop it here so that it is connected to that trigger, that, that register. So that's done. That's all I really wanted to do. So I'm able now to write directly here. Uh, once I do that, I'll go really quick over here to my display pages. And I've dragged and dropped this register on my display. And what I've done here is I've made it a data entry so that I can uh, turn this on and off. I, I can toggle that. That's it. That's it on that side. If you want to look at this database, you can email me and ask for it, and I can send it to you. You'll notice my format. No, this is the only thing I changed here for my tag when I created this. Um, I created it as a two state so that it would read on and off instead of one or zero. That's it on that side. Now um, I'm going to do some reading. I want to read the message, right? I want to read exactly what I'm, what I'm looking at. So what I've done here is I've created a block of 20 because this is a, that's what I originally had in my barcode manager. If you remember, I have a it, it was like the size of 20. So I've done that. I just left that at 20, starting at uh, holding register 40,001. Got a few options here. We're going to be in the holding registers. 16 bits is just the word. All right. And I have changed my direction from device to Geo7 because I'm going to be reading from the, from the ABI. Uh, you'll notice uh, all of these registers have been created from 40,001 to 40,020. And what I'm going to do here is create a 
register that is in, this, in the form of an array. So if I go to my data tag here, I've created this, uh, this variable here called, I called it packed care one. And I made it into an array of 20. That's just what I've done. And I've gone back here to my communications. Uh, I've got to, what I have to do here is once I've, I got to click on, on the array that I did. I got to actually do a toggle array and all of this will come out. So um, I li literally just um, drag and drop this over to each holding register um, accordingly. So that's done. That's what you'll notice the icon is in red because it's going in the opposite direction. I can minimize that now and I'm done. I'm done setting up my gateway blocks. Now what I've got to do is read that data string. So I've created a string tag. See, you can create a string tag because the message is going to come in um, as, a, as just like a, a lot of jumbled up numbers that are not going to make any sense. So um, once I have created this, um, I will show you some code that I hacked from <laughs> Joe Wazoo and John Lorette. And you'll notice that I've my my tag here. This you can copy this program, and what this does is I changed uh, that you do have to change the prototype of the program to to this type of string program, and that's it. Uh, you'll notice the the array that I'm working with is right here. This is uh, doing a for loop. It's doing some big Indian packing, shifting right eight, and uh, getting, doing some bit masking here. So this is, this is gonna unpack that, that data into a string so that you and I can read uh, the message the way that the marker manager will show it, okay? And so you'll notice also that I did have to create another, another tag here to put this into. All right, so I've created this other tag, and it is also double of what my packed array was. So this character one array is 40, so I just doubled it and uh, changed that to numeric, and that should be it on that side. So now I've got this packed care one and care one array. So what I'm going to do now is create this string tag, like I told you earlier, and I'm going to run this program in there. So uh, if I go back to my programs, program one is unpacking all of that, and I'm dumping it into this string data so that it can read it. Remember to change that to a string format type. All right, so that's it on that end. Now I'm able to just uh, drag this data tag from here onto my HMI and I'm able to read what's on that, what, what's on the, uh, on the message there. So great, so I'm reading this message, but most of the time you're reading it and you're wanting to do probably something else to it. So in this uh, example, I've also included um, just a simple, if, if, the, if the string is what I expect it to be in this case, this one part number, then I want to turn this tag on. Otherwise, turn it off. Um, and, and this tag here, it can be, maybe you're wanting to turn on, um, you're wanting to trigger a bit in your PLC to run a process, I don't know, but uh, this is just a very simplified example. Notice that my program, it's, it's under program two, and it's a regular, prototype program and I've run that into um, I had to create tag one it's just what I'm toggling on and off um, and so I'm running that program under pages here program two on tick so it's running um, every every second it's being updated All right so that's done that is uh, that's I've gone to my page one here I've dragged and dropped this tag here so that I can see when it changes based on the, ta the, the, 
the string data information that I'm getting. So um, after I've done that, I've turned on my web server so that I can show you on my screen. And I'm there already. So uh, what I'll go ahead and do now is turn this off. And I'm going to do a different barcode just so you see that I can get something different and the, the tag is going to be different. All right, so I've placed that in there. And so I'm going to trigger this on. And you'll notice I've got a different barcode on there and my tag has not been triggered because I don't want it to. So I'll go ahead and turn this back off. And I'm going to put now another barcode, the one that I do expect it to read. And I'm going to toggle this on. And it read it correctly and my tag turned on. So here's a good example of how to manage some of this data and how to get started. So if you have any questions, you want to check out this uh, database, you are more than welcome to. Just uh, give me a holler, comment below, or email me. All the information is in the description box below. And I hope this was helpful, and thanks for uh, tuning in.